Kwa kwa pole kwa pole wa pindo na imo utashinda uruni mwako nisikie maneno uwache Sumameni Vitu vyote ni sawa trigo Vitu vyote ni sawa pa na popendo Kira so uti tamu pa na popendo Jinsi tulivyo tunyenyekee ili tuweze kupata ombi tunaomba Our Father we thank you we give you honor and praise this evening God We thank you Jehovah because of your goodness We thank you for your love that you have shown unto us unto this time God You have been so faithful unto us and Lord we want to say that up to this far we have reached we have recognized the mighty hand in our lives we have come again before you as your children Lord so that we may listen to your word we thank you for this program of family life that you have continued to speak unto us mighty things that will change our lives god for the betterment and for the preparation for your kingdom that is to come god we are putting our families unto your able hands this evening that as you prepare even to talk to us today may your word touch a family that is represented amidst us today god that when we shall come at the end of this today's program we'll continue praising you that we have come and met you as our savior and our lord before us lord we want to bring your servant that you've chosen also to come and minister unto us when he comes lord to speak unto your children let your holy spirit guide him May you speak through him in a mighty way. And Lord, we pray for those the members that who are on the way. May you quicken them, Lord, so that may reach they may reach safely and we continue together. Those who will not get the opportunity to come today, we also pray for them that you will meet them at their points of need and open ways for them to come even tomorrow so that they can listen to your word. Begin with us as we start for we pray trusting in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Good evening saints. Hamjambo. It is another time today that 
we want to listen to the word of God that he has brought to us through his servant, Pastor Joel Nyangoka, and I want to bring him before you this particular time. Let me just show by, show by, by show of hands those who are happy to have Pastor with us. Thank you so much. Pastor, you are welcome to speak to your people. Hello, church. Bwana sifiwe. Na shukuru mungu wetu ametuwezesha kuwa hapa siku ya leo. Uh, tangu tulipo wagana jana. Ni wangapi ni siku tangu tuanze leo ndiyo siku yao ya kwanza. Kunganika pamoja nasi. Santi naomba msimame mtu salimie. Tupungie tu mkono. Thank you. Uh, tumekuwa tukiangalia katika somo letu la familia. Na sana sana ninapoangalia inasidi kuguzia sana watoto. Na ukweli ni kwamba mali tumefikia kama hatutakuwa keen as parents or even the church we are going to you to lose young people in the church our children in the church so today we are speaking about nurturing emotional well-being in the family that is about parenting today's parenting nurturing emotional well-being in the family or you can write today's parenting ah uh, waja niulize elda elda ujamba lakini vile ulilelewa ndivyo unalea watoto wako tofauti kwa hapa hiyo ndiyo nataka kusikia mpatie mic patie mic wakati nilikuwa mdogo my, mm. my parents were using crude metal methods nikiboko you make a mistake you are spanked immediately but in this these days the ones we have these children we have you spank him and you will start you will think that hata kula and aenda kuchiua unaanza kupembeleza Thank you, Elda. Our parenting today, it has changed totally. It may change. From the book of uh, uh, Proverbs chapter number 22, verse 6. Ambayo tulio fungua nayo maombi na tena imerudiwa. Anataka tuweze kuiangazia kwa undani. Ili tuweze kuelewa kama mzazi. Je, unafanya machukumu yako vile inavyohitajika? Soma mwalimu. Bile nasema, mle mtoto katika nje mpasayo. Aha. Nae hata iacha, hata ataka pokuwa mzee. Asante. Mle mtoto katika njia ipasayo. Akikuwa mzee hata iacha ni kweli ama si kweli najua kama nyumbani baba alikuwa baba alikuwa ameweka sheria kwamba saa kumi na moja na nusu isikupate nje do you know mpaka saa hii nimeoa nikienda nyumbani Unanipata nimeenda kisi town labda kufanya vitu viwili vitatu. I'm rushing home. Yaani ile kitu aliweka ndani yangu bado ina click. Kwamba 5:30 umefanya nini? Na imagine saa zingine na ingianga 6:30 napata mzaya ashafunga gate. You are using the same gate. Ashafunga gate. 
mpaka napiga simu mke wangu na mwambia fungua niko hapa nje unasikia mzaya anatokea pale anasema oh mi nilikuwa nishafunga najua hii masaa si mzuri watu kuingia kwa boma <laughs> mpaka tazigeni na jiulizanga nimeoa kweli ama bado <laughs> Pati ni kwa nini sheria zilizowekwa aliniongoza kwa njia ipasayo lakini sasa niko mzee na sichafanya namna gani sijaiacha sijaiacha ndio tunaagizwa kwamba train up a child sasa swali nilikuwa nachiuliza who is a child ni swali unafaa ujiulize na nijiulize who is a child Mtoto ni nani tuweze kumlea katika njia ipasayo na utamlea katika njia ipasayo gani ambayo we mwenyewe auijui Is like ukiweka elder ambaye asimamie kanisa ako 30% spiritually 30% awezi endesha kanisa ikuwe 70% spiritually Akipata kanisa iko 70% spiritual na yeye ako 30% anai pull down na inakuwa 30%. Kama una ako na akili ile ambaye haifikirii sana kanisa litakuwa hivyo. Yaani barua ikikuja kwa board kwa haya inataka kwenda makongeni wameitwa music sabbath. Ella anasema kwangu mi naonelea kwa haya isiende kwa sababu hiyo sabato tuko uh, tuko pamoja so naona wasiende kwa maana wakienda matoleo itarudi chini. Ele. Matoleo itafanya nini? Yaani kwa hivyo tukae hapa kanisani matoleo isirudi chi. Who is a child? Naomba uandike C H I L D in a vertical way. We are divining who is a child. C C ndio A child is careless. Mtoto ako careless always. Ako careless in which way? Mtoto anaweza anaweza chukua glass na akafanya venye anataka. Anaweza susu kwa glass to attract your attention. Taka kujua kama utamchapa ama utafanya nini. Hata anaweza ingia kwa kitanda na viatu. Yeye hajui kama ni mbaya. Hata ingia kwa pesheni ya kuosha vyombo na akae ndani. Yeye hajui ni ya vyombo. Atachukua sahani aweke kwa kichwa. Umemwambia perekea mgeni sahani na ameweka kwa kichwa na kuja naye. Tunaambiwa in the book of Adventist to Home and Child Guidance a responsibility imepeanwa kwa kila mzazi to train our children so that to waondoe wa kutoka being careless we promote them to be what careful kwamba kila kitu anachoona ni cha muhimu katika familia ni cha muhimu kuwa maishani mwake awe careful hata unakaonanga kakicheza tu mpira kwa barabara si ni kweli hata saa hii wanacheza tu na unapita mwalimu unapita tu lakini anacheza katikati ya miguu ya miguu yako naoni na wakati wetu ukiona mwalimu from a distance mnashika mpira mnapotea naye mnaingia ndani ya nini ya mahindi machani chai mwalimu apite aende ndio mfanye nini Murudi, muendelee kucheza ama mwalimu akipita tu hivi mnakaa nyinyi wote chini paka mwalimu apita fanya nini aende lakini saa hii hata kusalimia mwalimu ilikuwa ngumu eti mwalimu anapita hivi alafu naanza kumwambia sasa mwalimu Tumepewa jukumu we train our children to be careful in this life and the life to come 
that any decision they will make, it has consequences. Either positive or what? Or negative. They must be careful on every decision they make in any step they want to take in life. Nichukumu lako kama mzazi. Na unaonanga kamtoto, sometimes I study watoto. Vire kanapo kuwa. There is uh, what we call child development. Vire kanapo kuwa. Kuna age kakifika, ukikatoa nguo, kanansa nini? Kutoroka. Juu kanajua nguo ni zanani? Na mwili ni anani? Kanaenda cho? Kanaenda hapa? Alafu kanainuka tena, kanaenda ingine hapa? Kidogo kidogo tu, huku. Kakiona azichaka position, kanaanza kupiki na nini? Juu kanajua chochote kinatoka kwenye mwili wake. Ni nzuri. Si mbaya. Na kama hawa wadogo usipokuwa kin, watakula. They even drink their water. Urine. Wanakunywa. Si hata sisi tukiwa kule mahali tulikuwa tunacheza na kufanya mambo yetu. Tulikuwa tuna tunasusu kwa kwa, kwa kwa kibuyu na tunakunywa round. A child is always careless. Kwa hivyo ni jukumu lako. Usipige mtoto kwa sababu anafanya hizo vitu ni age yake. Mwandishi mmoja anasema kwamba mbona unachapa mtoto ambaye anacheza na matope kwani unataka ucheze ni ni age yake ina, anataka kufanya namna gani kucheza kwa matope aya anataleta ni gani h a child is helpless hawezi akachisaidia hata hawezi akakusaidia nyumbani kamekaa kwa 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 kiti kana watch tv baby shatu tu 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 baby akimaliza anze kuwatch wheels of the bus go round and round akimaliza yeye anze kuwatch nyingine head shoulders sneeze and toes akimaliza yeye anze kuwatch nyingine hivyo akusaidi hata unangangana hapo akusaidi na sasa chenye tulienda tukafanya the worst ni ku employ a maid in the house sasa maid ndiye anafanya everything sasa watoto wamekuwa hivi unaoa msichana akipika chapati anaweka baking powder anaweka sukari wajui kama una mtoto nyumbani Unaona saa ile unafua nguo kamekuja karibu na, ka, na kamevuta hivi kanaosha sasa anza kumfundisha hapo mpatie socks zake na vesti zake mwambie osha kanaanza kuchifundisha na ha na hapo kakija mahali unaosha vyombo kapatie vyombo vya plastic kanaosha mfundishe ama mara nyingi unapata mtoto anakuja na kulisa dadi kwa nini ulioa mami Unajua wanakaanga wanafikiria kwa nini dadi alioa mami hawajui kwamba kuna wakati ulikuwa kwenu kijana na mama yao alikuwa kwao msicha msicha ndiye haelewi yeye amewaona tu mko pamoja sasa swali linamsumbua lakini kwa nini dadi aliamua kuoa mami Arabu tunawaambia anga aje Eh Ebu jibu kama mkisi mama mkisi Nani amekufundisha hiyo tabia? Tabia mbaya hiyo nisiwaisikia kutoka kwako. Hiyo ni tabia mbaya. Na hayo ndiyo maswali watoto wamebaki nayo. Ukisikia mtoto anakuuliza swali hivyo, that is the entry point of training that child. Mfundishe. Ama mtoto anakuuliza, "Mam, kwa nini nikisusu mimi na kaa chini na ndugu yangu akisusua na simama?" Jibu kama mama mkisi. 
nasikia venye wanacheka tabia gani mfundishe muambie kulingana na necha yako haikuruhusu ususu venye kijana anafanya namna gani maumbile yako ni tofauti na maumbile yake but we fear to tell them unaanza kumwambia ni tabia mtoto anakuuliza mamu kwa nini uliolewa na dadi kwa hivyo na mimi nikikuwa mkubwa nitawa sista yangu alafu namwambia tabia mbaya anaenda akiendanga hivi hawaelewi mama kalisha mtoto msichana chini mwambie kuna sehemu kwa mwili asitakikani kuguzwa na mwanaume yeyote hata mwanamke mwingine hastahili mwambie kuna matiti hastahili kuguzwa sasa umeanza kuangalia chini chu mnajua next inataja nini the way you are fearing na mnaogopa ndio mnaogopa kuambia watoto wenu Mwambie matiti astakikani kuguzwa. Mwambie kuna fajaina ambayo ni sehemu ya asili. Mwambie haiwezi hairuhusiwi hata kuonekana hata mapacha inaitwa mapacha. Haitakikani kuonekana kwa mwanaume. Mwambie makalio ambayo ni matako. Mwambie haistahili kuguzwa. Ambia mtoto hivyo wacha wacha kufungia mtoto kumwambia e, eti hii ni nyonyo hii inaitwa nunu hii inaitwa nunu utaipata kwa kwa kwa, kwa, kwa. mwalimu hata wewe ndio unafundisha kuna mahali nunu imeandikwa kwa textbook imeandikwa fajaina imeandikwa patox we are living a very big cup that now the world has joined in to teach them inawafundisha kama ni mwanaume mzee kalisha mtoto wako wa kiume mwambie kuna sehemu astahili kuguzwa na mtu yeyote isipokuwa wewe peke yako mtajie zote venye zinaitwa sisi zimeandikwa kwa vitabu tunasoma yes mwanamke ana sehemu ngapi tatu mwanaume ana sehemu ngapi bili astahili kazi yako ni kukaa nyumbani na kuambia mtoto mkonyore na abaisia nikupate na vijana wa kiume sawa atatembea na wasichana lesbian badaru mwambie shida ni gani akikuuliza kwa nini mamu utaki nitembe na na na, na, na vijana wa kiume kwa nini utaki nitembe Unaniuliza swali ama nimekwambia unasikia chenye nakwambia ama ni wewe unataka kuniambia sasa umesaidia huyo mtoto start educating your child mwambie kwamba hii na hii na hii ndio inafanya usi usifanye namna gani tunakataa usitembee na hao vijana a child is careless a child is helpless tuwasaidie watoto wetu nyumbani wakue helpful in the family we have kids ambao wanakula wanaacha sahani hapo kwa meza maid afanye nini atoe hata kanatoka shule kanatoa manguo zote mpaka nguo ya ndani maid afanye nini na mzazi huko unaangalia train our children to be helpful in the family kama saa hii hakuna kazi siwezi fanya nyumbani mzee hakuna kama ni wimbi nitapeleka shambani na nipande Iki, ikitokea nitafanya ile inaitwaje kuaga iko kwa Kiswahili kweli ama ki weeding eh karibu nikwambia hapo tani konemu ya kuaga inaitwa okuagology botani konemu i will do it tena vizuri sana na nitaenda nifanye ile inaitwaje aje kuchuna kokesa i'll do it nikimaliza nitatwanga na nimalize and i'll do it nitasonga inaitwa kusonga eh i'll just do it tena beautifully 
kwa nini nilifundishwa nilifundishwa Why are we neglecting our children not to do these things back at home because we are training them hata 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 dada white ndiye anasema kwamba let young hiyo uh, inaitwa messages to young people let young ladies be trained on how to cook and to make their homes when they will get married already they know what they are going to do in marriage Sikuizi tuna wasichana unamwoa kazi yake ni kuitisha chakula na uba uba food anaoda biza inaletwa anaoda chakula kutoka naivas inaletwa ujui kama ni ajana unaletewa kuku yenye, yenye, yenye hata mtoto wako mdogo anatafuna mfupa hiyo ni kuku ya ukweli sasa tuna watoto ambao ni poflo tu poflo poflo we are feeding them without giving them what they need in their life look chapter number 2 verse 52 anasema namna gani naomba msome kwa haraka mwalimu ameenda nje elda mayeka uko na nini hapo usome mpatie mic Luke chapter number 2 verse 52 Haya mwalimu kazan Ili tuweze kuelewa watoto wetu wanastahili wawe namna gani And that is what we need in our family Kuna vitu vichache tu viko katika familia yetu tunahitaji tuweze kufifanya kwa watoto wetu let our home be of good environment yani mpaka mtoto anatamani kuja nyumbani kuna watoto wengine akifunga shule tu hivi anakuambia mamu si niende kwa anti aenda kufanya nini kwa maana kwa anti mambo hakunanga mambo mengi soma mwalimu mbili ya msina, mbili luka eh. naye Yesu akazidi kuendelea katika hekima na kimo thank you Ati Christ grew in what wisdom and what stature aha uh-huh. akimpendeza Mungu na wanadamu asante we want what we call holistic man the book of education by Dada White ndiye anasema kwamba education is training holistically you train a man holistic holistically yani all round physically mentally ingine ni gani socially ingine ni gani eh spiritually all round train our children kama jana kuna mtoto alikuja na akasema aende shule. Mamake anamuuliza kwa nini aende shule? Akasema mimi sitaki ile shule siendi. Mamake akamkalisha chini akamuuliza, "Hebu niambie kwa nini utaki kwenda shule?" Akamwambia, "Uko shule watoto wananiita kanono. Hataki kuitwa na ukweli ni kanono. Na hataki kuitwa Ilibidi mzazi apigie mwalimu shule amwambie mtoto wangu anakataa kuja shule kwa sababu watoto fulani fulani na fulani aliwataja wanamuita kanono mwalimu aliita hao watoto akawakanya na akawaambia waacha so kalienda shule akirudi kakasema mama mwalimu aliwaita akawasomea hawako niita kanono tena si kila mtoto anapoongea unamwambia nimesema fa uniform enda shule a a muongeleshe jua ni kwa nini Jua ni kwa nini? Hata kuna wakati tulikuwa tunaongelesha watoto, unamuongelesha, unaambia mtoto sasa ni chore familia yako yote. Anajora, akaanza kuchora sistake, akachora brother yake, akafika akachora mamake, alafu kufika kwa babake akachora babake lakini hakuweka kichwa. 
ndio tukaanza kuuliza huyu mtoto sasa atuanze na yule hana kichwa aa wani mnacheka mmejua ni nini Tulianza na yule wa kwa nini ulichora huyu wa kwanza? Akasema, "Si stangu ni mzuri akikuja, ananiletea viatu, ananiletea nguo, nikimwomba pesa ananipatia." Oh, sawa. Na brother yako, brother yangu, kwangu mzuri sana. Yeye uniletea vitu lakini anapenda kunichapa. So ampe. Kwani ulichora mamako nini? Mamangu ni mzuri lakini ananipatia makazi mingi. Hata hujamaliza hii amekupatia ingine. Nini nani? Na huyu ni nani? Ni babangu. Kwa nini ana kichwa? Eti mamangu ananitusi niko na kichwa kama ya babangu. So hawezi chora. We utachora kichwa yako hapo? Na ni sisi tu tuna watusi, si ni kweli? So hawezi chichora. Talk positively to your children. Don't call them names. Kama wakisi ndio nilikuwa naona mamangu anasema enyangawe. Yaani kuita mtu enyangawe. Unajua enyangawe ni nini? Kwa Kiingereza inaitwa hyena. Hyena. kutusi ngombe sasa mbaka unashinda unakuja na ripoti kati umefanya mtihani yani kwako uliona last time ulikuwa namba 17 saa hii umejaribu uko namba 10 alafu unaleta nyumbani unapatia dadi dadi anaangalia hivi anasema kenda kuchalia mongongo huyo sasa mbaka unashindwa sasa mbaka nimeshinda kutoka namba 17 niko namba 10 nimeshinda watu saba unafikiria ni mchezo kushinda watu saba Sasa unajua ulikuwa na saiki ya umeshinda saba. Sasa unarudi nyumbani ukiwa umeboeka. Unarudi tu ukiwa umeboeka na unaanza kubaki tu ngombe, 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 ngombe na finally unakuwa ngombe. And that's how we demoralize them. So talk positively to your children. Hata ukiona amekuwa namba ya mwisho, mwambie next you have tried. Next time Jaribu tena ufike mahali. Utaona mtoto anangangana. Utaona mtoto anangangana. Talk to them in a nice way, in a positive way, not negatively. Wato bongo mno we ngombe uko iwo tari kuwe ndagira gogosokera liu. Alafu tuko na akili kama ya ngombe usikini chakula tu na kula. Kwani ni sikule? Kama baba yetu yani tulikuwa tunaingia tu kwa mesa hivi ni kugompana, kugompana. Yaani mpaka unachinda utaki tukule. Mpaka yani ilikuwa inafika tu kwa mesa, hatuchukui even 3 minutes. Yaani ni hivi ana, anaongea sisi ni hivi. Anaongea sisi ni hivi. Anaongea sisi ni hivi. Ukiona umekaribia unapiga hivi unaweka kwa sahani unafanya nini? Enda zako ela mayeka Tunakuacha hapo ukiongea. Tukiingia jikoni unasikia mama anauliza, "Ikamwaragira? Yaani mmekula hapana? Ni maneno mingi kwa wapi?" Na tukawapatia mpaka majina. Patia mpaka majina yao. Hata usiku tukiongea, tunaongea kuhusu dadi, lakini kuna jina yeye hajui. Kama wewe si wewe ni mwalimu kuna jina umepewa shule haki ukijua siju utaambia mtu nini labda ni jina kingine mbaya hata babangu tulikuwa tumempatia jina hivi hapo tunaongea tena tulikuwa tunasikia ju babangu alikuwa ni mtu anafanya security the entire poma yote mzima kwao kwa ndugu zake kwa maana hawakuwa anafanya kazi jumbani walikuwa mbali so walikuwa anafanya security entire kama ni mtoto amekosa kwa familia ya, mto, ya ndugu yake anaenda huko ku discipline alikuwa anajulikana the discipline master the entire uh, 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 family so tulikuwa tunamsikia usiku akitembea nje tunamsikia alafu tunaanza kuongea kwa sauti na tena tunamsengenya Hey, tunacheka tunasema si hata saa hii tunajua tu wako nje anasikiza na tunajua hako 
Unasikia tu akisikia uchungu tumemtacha sana. Unasikia tu anauliza Joy alimwasie kera chombe. <laughs> Tunajua alikuwa hicho. Umefungia ngombe tunaelewa alikuwa. Eh tulifungia saa. Una jukumu. Fundisha mtoto wako. Talk positively, talk nicely to your child. To be what? Careful. To be what? Helpful in the family. Mtoto anakusaidia. Hata najua elder Mayeka venye uko hivi. Saa hii yani hata ikiwa kwamba umeambiwa gawa mali yako kuna mwenye unajua utaachia. Huyu atatunza poma vizuri. Kweli ama si kweli? Wazazi wanajua huyu nikimwachia atapeana. Huyu nikimwachia ni aweze. We know our children. Another another one ni gani? I our children are what? Irresponsible. Train them to be what? Responsible. Yani hata ukimwachia kitu nyumbani na ifanyike imefanyika, ako responsible kusimama na kusema hivi na hivi. Train them to be responsible in the family. Na ndio maana tumeambiwa kwamba tufundishe watoto wetu mentally on how to make decisions. Train them spiritually on how to serve God and man vertically and horizontally. Train them socially on how to relate with what? Other people. Train them. Kwa fundishe. Physically, physical exercise. I thank God COVID-19 ilikuja. Watu walikimbia. Kwa my state. Si hata wewe ulikimbia. Eti ndio usishikwe na corona. Lakini watu wapendi kufa. Watu walifanya exercise. Exercise. Lakini sahi. Kuna exercise. Anata leta digani. L. Our children are always lazy. Hata kawezi kakatoa vikombe kwa mesa. Kawezi kakafanya anything. Kako tu. Train them to be what? Hard working. To be hard working at home. Mtoto hako class 4, class 5, class 6, na ajui kupika hata uji. Wacha hata uji, hata mchele. Ajui. Na mkikufa kama wazazi amuko. Ha watoto watajenereisha kimaisha. Train them. Ya mwisho ni, children are always what? dependent wana tutegemea train them to be independent ndio siku zijazo waweze kujua kuchisimamia wao wenyewe kimaisha na ndio maana mnaona sasa imefikia mahali wasichana they are looking for what eh they are looking for what they are not called sponsors nowadays they are called prayer partners eh prayer partners looking for prayer partners wanataka nini mkwanja hawawezi wakachisimamia kujimudu kimaisha maka niliona msichana mmoja tu mrembo yani msichana mrembo anauza kangumu na nini na kahawa amebeba anatembea yani kufikia saa nne ameuza hizo gala ni ngapi Bili, ako na pesa yake. Baka msiana mwingine akamwambia, "Haki nani?" Venye uko mcute hivi unauza kahawa. Unajua ukipeba kahawa hivi sana utaunga mikono kama mwanaume. Sasa hiyo inaniuhusu nini? Si anajitegemea. Ndio maana unaona hata mwanaume akimwambia nitembelee, anamwambia tuma nini? Na wakituma They cannot stand alone. Train our children to stand alone. Wachisimamie. Ndio maana unapata hata mwanamke ameolewa kwenye ndoa, Bwana akikufa na alikuwa breadwinner, hiyo familia inashindwa kuendelea. Nasema mimi sina, hata ni kama kanisa hata imedharau wamenitupa. Nini hapana simama tetea familia yako. Tetea Wazazi wetu hawakukua wamesoma hata wafike mbali. 
But they wa, walikuwa matajiri. Walikuwa matajiri, walikuwa na pesa. Hakuna siku utaingia kwa nyumba ukose chakula. Hakuna, lakini nowadays tumesoma, lakini sisi ndio nini? Hatuna. Naingia kwa nyumba mtu anakupigisha maneno na hata chai hakuna. Kwa sababu gani anapiga hesabu yake? Train them to be what? Independent. Wachisimamie. Kwa hivyo tumegundua kwamba we need to train our children in four areas. Number one, spiritual. Number two, mental, mentally. Number three, socially. Number four, physically. Kuna ingine mwalimu? Emotionally. Sijui. Another thing, mwalimu huyo anatufundisha. Kuna vitu ambavyo vime, watoto wetu wamekutana na vyo. And it has affected their lives. Number one. Those things that are, affects our children. Number one. Conflict in the family. Vita. He may affect watoto wetu katika familia so much. Kwa maana mtoto akitoka shule anafikiria tena naenda kwa ile familia mahali papa na mama wanafanya nini? Wanapigana. It has affected them. Mbaka sasa imefika mahali watoto wanaoe. Watoto wanaangalia. Ikiwa mamu na dadi wataachana leo, tutasimama na nani? Wanaangalia, ni nani yako na pesa? Ni mama, wanaenda na mama. It has affected them. Another thing that has affected our children is what we call divorce. Divorce. Watoto wanataka kuona dadi na mamia na wambia? No. Hata kuna wamama wameambia watoto wao. Nataka kuona kuona dadi. Mama anambia. Faithfully tena. Strongly. Anawambia baba enu walikufa. Na baba yao bado yuko ha? Yuko hai. Hata kama muliachana na buwana. Na nataka kuona watoto. Mwache aone watoto. Ni wake. Ni wake wacha waone. Kwa maana utakapo olewa tena kwenye familia nyingine na watoto hao. Watajua kwa ma wao siwa hiyo familia. Na watanza kukuambia turudishe kwa baba. Na wataenda. Mwache awasalimie. Na we umana ume umeoa. Na umeacha mke wako na watoto. Ni nani unatafuta? Unatafuta nani? Hata ukichezea mpira Old Trafford, uchezee City Stadium, uchezee Kasarani, uwanja ni? Uwanja ni moja. Chenye unatafuta, that is what we don't know. Uliza, ukafukuza. 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 Hata watoto wako wakishikana tu vizuri, watafika muangaza chai. Go for them. Bring them back at home. Na badu unakasano na sema mwasini ya pachera. Pachera na watutu wanaesa shikana mikono wafike kayole. And the Bible says, be careful on how you treat your wife of your youth. It will never go unattended. Mfanye makosa tu. Mcheze venyo na mfanye. Mfanye vituko. Machozi yake analia hivi. Haita enda bure. God will repay you. Utamfukuze iti anazaa watoto wa sichana peke yao unataka wa kiume. Sasa utaoa mwenye azai. Wako utaanza kutembea kwa wachawi. Iti yule mke wangu nilioa wakwanza. Hivyo ndiyo wanasema. Nilioa wakwanza ni kama alienda kanifunga. Unaanza kutafuta nguo zako ndogo kama ziko zote. Ukipata kuna moja ngombe ilienda nayo. Unaanza kusema ni yeye alienda na. Na hiyo ndiyo alitumia kufanya nini? Kukufunga. Stand for your family. Hakuna mwanamuke ambaye ni mbaya. Ikiwa mtakuwa kitu kiboja. Mutasaidia familia yenu kuinuka. Na itasimama. Kama jama moja, hamefanya tu arusi. Na nimemusimamia tu arusi. Hamefanya arusi. Hata mwezi ya ichaisha, hame nipigia simpasta. Mi naona nataka tuachane na mke wangu. Kwa nini? Nika muambia kuja tukutani. Ele mayeka. Unajua jenya alise? Iti muke wangu wapendi kuoga. Iti sasa wanataka kuacha? 
kati ya huyu mwanaume na mwanamke nani yako na makosa? Eh? Najua hatu wa mwezi ongea kwa sababu. Wacha ni yamazi. Nikambia huyu mwanaume. Nataka kukupatia only the last option. Ikishindikana. Mwachane na huyu mwanamke. Nikamuambia leo jiuni ukienda. Ambia bibi aweke maji. Kuweke maji kwa bafu. Ingia na yeye muoge pamoja. Usioge peke ya oga pamoja. Sikuizi mwanamke anaoga kuliko mwanaume. There is simple things that you can solve not calling people mke wangu achui kupika mboga vizuri Sumfundishe. Sumfundishe. Kuna vitu ambavyo vinasumbua watoto wetu. Iyo ya kwanza tumepata conflict in the family. Number two, divorce. Sasa wanashinda tuende kwa daddy ama tuende kwa mami. Ama tufanya na mna gani. Another thing, death. Wakati kifo imengia nyumbani. Inasumbua watoto sana. Kuna watoto waelewi kama kweli ya mekufa mani wanasidi kuuliza. Hata ukimuliza baba hako yukua. Baba hangu si yuko huko. Unaona huko mahali kumesimentiwa kuna maua. Baba hangu wako hapo. E, mamangu aliniambia atakuja. Sasa mtoto anakaa, anajua baba haki atafanya nini? Baka muingine mtoto a, alizaliwa, amekua ajui kifo ni nini, baba aliaga. Sasa mama anashindwa ni muambie na mna gani. Anamuambia, Dadi alienda safari, atafanya nini? Atarudi. Sasa mtoto anajiuliza atarudi lini? Hawaelewi kifo ni nini? Baka kengine hata ukikabeba hivi kaone babake kwa jenesa ama mamake, kana muangalia rafu kananza kusema mam, anasa anaanza kuambia dadi, dadi mamu amenyamaza, amelala, si umuamushe. Mamu amelala sana. Baka we mwenye unaanza kulia, unashinda sasa ni muambie nini? wanapokuja kukua kuna watoto hata sasa hivi walizaliwa na watoto wakafa yani wazazi wakafa labda kalikuwa one week kalikuwa two weeks wazazi wakakufa na kako hapo akaelewi what is happening sasa amekuwa mkubwa anataka kusikia mapenzi ya mama yake na mapenzi ya baba yake but it's noble hakuna it affects them Maka mtoto mmoja, kuna mmoja alisema kwamba mba, ee, munataka nifanya arusi kama nini, lakini siwezi fanya arusi mtu ya yota, anisimamie, isipokuwa mamangu na babangu. Na sasa kwa maana hawapo, hakuna haja nifanya arusi. Kuna haja mtu anisimamie ti ee, ni babangu na mamangu, hakuna. Don't you think that it affects them? Na hiyo, nilikuja kujua hiyo kitu wakati mke wangu, aliniambia mimi tukiena na wea kanisa. Usinisimamishe kusalimia wapi. Na nilikuja kuona ni ukwe. Kwa mana kuna wake wa elders wanasumbuka ndani ya kanisa. Wakati elder unasimama hapa na unasema kwamba mke wangu simama usalimie kanisa. Watoto wangu simama usalimie kanisa. Na yeye alikuwa naambiwa hivyo lakini mze wake unamukumbusha. Mze wangu angekuwa hapa. Ange nisimamisha. Nikaona ni ukwe. Kuna wake wa wachungaji wanaumia hivyo. Another thing. When a member in the family tries to commit suicide. Inawasumbua sana. Wakati moja katika familia anataka kuchitoa uhai. Inawasumbua. So hata kama wanakaa wakimuona, akitoka tu hivi na amechelewa, wameanza kukua na wasiwasi stress. Ni kama amechinyonga, ama ni nini mekua. Ni kama amekunywa sumu. Another thing, mental health problems. Even disability in the family. Inasumbua watoto sana. The book of Eversians, chapter number 6. Verse 3. Nasema aje. Verse 
na enyi wa akina baba nataka unisome hapo wa Efeso 6:3 Biblia inasema eh upate heri a a soma mahali nasema na enyi eh sita nne nne Biblia eh. inasema eh nanyi akina baba nanyi akina baba msiwachokoze watoto wenu msiwachokoze watoto wenu bali waleeni katika adabu waleeni na maonyo ya adabu. na kufanya nini na maonyo ya Bwana na maonyo ya Bwana na ndio maana in the book of Deuteronomy Moses Mungu anaambia Musa ambia wana wa Israeli mafundisho haya na sheria hizi wakafundishe watoto wao kila asubuhi na kila jioni wawafundishe teach them teach your children how can you teach your children what you don't have elder utawafundisha kitu yenye una you must know the way then lead them to walk what Una drive na mtoto una drive gari na uko na mtoto kwa gari mnaenda hivi alafu kama ni mtu mwingine pikipiki inaingia mbele unasema shit Kwa hivyo mtoto atajua na mimi nika wakati nitakuwa gari mtu akipita mbele ni nini That's what we do We have different types of parents in the family Number one, authoritarians authoritarians wazazi ambao wakisema wamesema they don't have time to listen to their children no time anakuambia hapa si wewe unasema wewe ni mtoto we soma ni mimi nafanya nini mimi naongea watoto kama hao wakimaliza shule wakienda nje wakipata kazi they don't come home wanaenda kabisa hata wengine wanatamani waende Marekani, waende nchi zingine wakae huko. We have other parents who are permissive. Parents have low expectations and they generally are more lenient with a few rules to abide by. Yaani ni yule ambaye ametoa kazi watoto wafanye, akirudi chioni anapata vyombo avijaosho. Alafu anauliza hivi, "Mama amkuosha vyombo?" Ah sawa nipatie maji nioshe. Kuna mzazi yako hivyo. Kuna wazazi wale authoritative, wanaingia nyumbani, badala ya kuuliza watoto wamekula, kwanza nauliza ngombe ime? Hii umbo ime? Mulifanya kazi nilisema. He, kila kitu, yani kila kitu iko in place. Yani akionekana nyumbani tu hivi, kila kitu inaingia pahali pake. Watoto wanapotea, mama ako bahari pake if you, you are so lonely chipange wakati utaritaya na kurudi nyumbani you will be lonely you will be lonely wakati mama atachukua tamu ya uongozi la mayeka kuna time watu walikuja kwako walikuwa wanakuja kwako kwa nyumba si ni kweli wanakuomba kitu wanaomba mama kitu mama anasema hebu ongea na baba fulani awasaidie na panga unaenda unasema baba nani Ma, 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 ma nimenituma panga unasema ndio hii siku hizi wanakuja kukuona kukuomba panga huwa unawaambia aje eh eh hawatakuja kuomba siku hizi wakikuja kuomba kitu kwako unawaambia aje eh mzee mzee amesema vizuri fanya nini uliza mama ukisikia umeanza kusema hivyo ukiuliza mama you have started transferring leadership umeanza kujua hatamu ya uongozi yako inaisha I really thank God the way aliumba mwanadamu ukiona umeanza kusema uliza mama umeanza kusema uongozi si wangu uongozi ni wa nani na wakati kama uliongoza uongozi wa ukatili ulipea mama akichukua mama hata anatoka nyumbani na anakuambia nimeenda Nairobi kwa mtoto wangu Aliza na nitakaa huko hizo ngombe na mbuzi na kuku uone venye zinafanya namna gani hata hataki kujua utapika uta, uta aje utakula na ataenda wiki gapi ukimpigia simu unamuuliza ulienda wapi anakuuliza kwani umechoka
Na kuna wakati tafika unakuja kuomba mama kitu. Mama na mzee wanasema wacha tuulize kijana wetu mkubwa. Uh, tuone kama ataruhusu hiyo kitu toke. Wamejua hatamu ya uongozi yao imefanya nini? They have started transferring kwa watoto. Ikiingia kwa watoto. Isaira unaenda kuambia mtoto usichenge hapo, jenga upande huo anakuambia dadi. Dadi ka sisi tukapange. Hata ukijaribu kwa, kusema kwamba kolera wanakuja nyumbani, wacha tupange ni nini na nini tunakula. Wanako Mzee anapiga simu kijana yake. Eh nilikuwa nataka niwaite tupange venye tuna nini dadi. Tutashapanga. Nyinyi tulia mngoja wageni. Mumepanga nini na nini na dadi sisi si watoto. Sasa hii tumekuwa wakupwa tushapanga kila kitu tumemaliza na story imeisha. Mzee unatulia. Sasa hii uongozi si wa ni wa potoma. Let our environment back at home be a good environment where there is good communication, where there is good love, where there is the young people embrace each other. Watoto wana eshima. Wakati ule hata bedroom ya mama na baba huko unajua venye naka. Msesi ni kweli? Huko unajua? Ulikuwa unaiogopa. Lakini saa hii una change katoto ndio aka mama unaitwa na mgeni bedroom siku hizi hata wanawake wanapeleka watoto wa kiume kwenda kutahiriwa mama amekaa hospitali mami unafanya nini hapa weni hapana nimeleta mtoto wangu kutahiri what will you teach them utawaambia nini We have parents who are neglectful. Parents who are neglectful. Types of parents and the way they are leading at home. Their leadership, all their child guidance, all their parenting styles at home. Neglectful. Parents are uninvolved and uninterested and invest little time in their children. Where are you? 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 Kama mimi najua saa hii nikiingia tu kwa nyumba mtoto anakimbia alikuwa na maembe alikuwa nakula alikuwa labda na watermelon alikuwa nakula anakimbia na kushika tu so the first thing nafanyanga nikiingia tu kwa nyumba naingia tu kwa nyumba hivi straight kwa bedroom na badilisha nguo narudi nikikuja kana nishika sina shida kwa sababu nguo nimevaa hata kilichafua sina sawa na tena sasa hao watoto mmoja ananipandanga hapa mwingine ananipanda hapa huyu mdogo analia anataka kutoa umkubwa mkubwa analia anataka mpaka mwingine anapandanga kwa kifua hata kama nimelala kwa kiti atangulie huyu mwingine mpaka imefika nimekula nimeshipa mdogo anani ana, ana, anataka kunililia ni mshike mkubwa ananivuta twende kulala kila mtu anataka attention but unapata kuna mzazi anasema ka, ka uko kana mama yako jamaza ka uko Saku kuona hapa unatembea tembea. Ka. Ona TV. There is parents who are authoritative. Ile ilikuwa authoritarian, there is what? Authoritative. Parents they develop clear standards and are responsible to their children needs. Yaani they are democratic. Hata nauliza dadi. Unaona uende nyambari ya boys ama tufanyaje? wanasikiza Hani wale wazazi wanauliza Utaosha vyombo ndio ukule ama ukule ndio uosha vyombo Wendi utachagua Ufanye homework ndio ulale ama ulale waamka asubuhi ufanye homework Kuna wazazi wako hivi Elda Mayeka mimi sijui uko wapi Lakini ukweli kwa hizi types nne kuna mahali wewe Elda Mayeka wewe ndio unauliza Where are you? Every parent who is here, there is kuna mahali huko. Kwa hizo zote nne zimetajwa. Hebu jiulize, yako inasaidia familia. Inasaidia. Baka watoto wanajua dadi lazima atuulize ki kitu. 
leo muone tuchinje kuku ama tukule sukuma Ndio huyo mzazi anauliza mtoto ni kununulie bike ndio uende church ama tuende church ndio tukikuja ni kununulie Let us have warm boundaries so that we can help our children. There is only five tips for nurturing health, emotional well-being in your family. Number one, healthy families create an out atmosphere where angels want to dwell. Anasema namna gani? Health families create an atmosphere where angels want to dwell. When there is good parenting, and when there is good environment back at home, hata malaika wenyewe, wanafuraia kukaa kwa hiyo familia. Mama anapotembea, watoto wanapotembea. Unajua kuna, kuna watoto na mama na baba wakitembea watu unafikirianga hawa watoto ni ma sisters na ni ma brothers. Unatembea. Yani, they they chat well. They talk well. Lakini bado kuna eshima kwa nyumba. Mtoto anakuja, nilienda, nilienda familia ingine kufanya, kufanya fistation. Mtoto akamemaliza university. Nakako kwa nyumba. Halileta food kwa mesa. Nakaita babake, daddy, huja. Kanajua kwamba daddy ndi anastahili kuna wisho mkono wakwa. Kana muna wisha, kana sema karibu food. Nafu kakikula kakimaliza. Kanambia babake, daddy, Thank you kwa kutunulia samaki. Na kanaenda. I really loved. I really loved. Mmoja meshika viatu ya dadia na panguza, metengeneza. Mungina meshika hii hivi hivi. Dadia na ito atuku viatu iko tayari. Socks ziko hapa. Dadi hii na hii na hii na hii. Lakini ikiwa wewe ni mama. Mama usiruhusu mtoto wako kutengeneza kitanda cha dadi. Mama. Hata usiruhusu maid kufua nguo za mzee hata kupika chakula kuleta mezani. Usiruhusu pika chakula chako mzee akazoe chakula cha mkono wako. Ukisikia maid ameenda na mzee anauliza unarelia na rudi lini? Jua amechoka kukula chakula chako. Kuna mama hapa wanapika sukuma wanachaza supu. Asifu mama mzee ni mtoto supu ni ya kufanyia nini Ili hali maid akikua kwa nyumba anapika kachakula kadogo tu lakini katamu hata we unafurahia nyumbani Na mama amekaa tu hivyo na lile hata chakula kwa haraka Baba nani anataka kulala na wewe Ingia chikoni pikia mzee wako ale chakula cha mkono wako wewe mwenyewe sasa hivi hata angalia nguo zenye unafalisha mtoto wako. Ni nguo za aibu. Lakini maid akifaa nguo kama hiyo kwa nyumba hutaki. Unasema sitaki kuona hizi. Hiki nimepata maid wangu anavaa nguo fupi fupi. Nini? Unacheza akivaa hizi nguo fupi hata kunyang'anya mzee. Na kwa nini unafalisha mtoto wako hizo? Baka unaona watoto wamechukua attention ya dadi. Na dadi amelala nao. Kama kuna mtoto aliochiwa kwa radio, alikuwa nasema, my dad is too hot in the bed. Mama anaenda kuuliza mtoto, kwa nini unafanya hivi, anamuambia, if you are not satisfying my dad, for me I'm okay. Dad na nani? Na mtoto. Wacha kuwe na boundaries in the family. Mama, spread kitanda, osha ngoza mze, piga pasi ngoza mze, na umpikie. Mamba na maid, ashulikie watoto. Ulie mbloi maid kwa watoto, si kwa mze. Mze anangia kwa nyumba, hata umusalimi, hata umuambie chochote. Lakini ya kingia hivi, maid yuko. Baba watoto, ha, ujambo. Nikupatie uji ama nikupe maji ya kuwaga kwanza. Hata wewe wacha ni ulize swali. Ukienda kwa duka ununue kitu, asikuambie kitu. Ama uende kwa duka ununue kitu na kuambia asante karibu tena. Utaenda gani?
Na hivyo ndio mnaona familia sinafunjika. Eti maybe wamefunja familia ya mtu ni kwa sababu gani? Gap tumeacha. Mnagombana mbele yao na msichana anakoangalia tu anaona the gap. Ana maintain. Mzee akiingia tu hivi, ashamsalimia. Anamwambia baba nani? Chai iko hapa na maji kwa moto kwa bafu. Sasa ile mzee anainuka tu hivi kwenda ku, ku, kuoga, msichana ashamletea slippers. Mzee amevaa ameenda. Alafu amempatia ile uji na ashatengeneza juice amemletea. Anamuuliza leo kazini kulikwaje. Na mzee anamuuliza watoto wamekula vizuri? Ulishinda nao waje? Nani alikusumbua? Nena a ah, ah, tulikuwa vizuri. Lakini mama akiingia, "Mnaleni nilete maji." Unakaa nini hapa badaro kuwe chikoni kufanya nini? Yaani everything. Wewe ni hivi 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 hivi. Help the families practice good communication. Help the families they practice what? Good communication back at home. Mama watoto mzee. Mama watoto good communication. Iko sawa. Ndio mara nyingi naambianga wazee wa chini kupeana wake wenu pesa kule bedroom. Kiti mnaondoka mnaenda kisia enda mayeka. Alavu natoa pesa, unaambia mama. Hii, tunalipa pea. Hii, tutakula naroko. Hii, utanunulia watoto vitu. Haya, tunaenda, tunaingia ena coach. Ama tunaingia nyamira express. Conductor nakuja. Pesa. Anaitisha mzee. Mzee anangalia mama. Sini ukweli alimpatia pesa. Anangalia mama. Anaitisha watoto pesa, watoto wanaangalia nani? Dadi. Dadi akitishwa pesa, anaangalia nani? Mami. Conductor akitisha mami pesa, mami anafanya nini? Analipa. Watoto wanasidi kuangalia. Watoto wanasidi kuangalia na wanachifundisha. Ikifika ni naro kwa watu wanakula, mzee ananawa mkono, watoto wananawa mkono, wanaitisha chakula na wanakaa mesani. Alafu wanaona mama anatoa pesa. Anafanya nini? They are watching. Monkeys see, monkeys do. Wakifika ni kununua, mam, mam, mam. Sasa unajua wata kuita dadi. Ama wakeza kukuita dadi, dadi tupaie mananasi, tupaie mananasi. Alafu naambia mami, si wapaie yeo mananasi. Kwa maana we umwenye unajua ulipeana pe. Na mama anatoa nanunua nini? Wakifika kisi town. Wanaambia mam. Si utupaie kuku leo. Wamejua dadi ananga pesa. Sasa ingine panga vitu mahali watoto wanaona. We umetoa pesa imenunua samaki. Samaki imetengerezo na mamu imeletwa kwa mesa. Alafu mamu ananza kuuliza watoto. Munasikiache hiyo samaki nimewapikia leo. Nilini watajua ni we unaprovide the family. Sasa zingine kuja na hiyo samaki umebeba wajue dadi ndiye amekuja na We unakuja na gazeti tu juu umetuma pesa nyumbani. Let there be good communication. Tell the families how family bonding time. Ulizaliwa Komaro. Ukaishi Komaro. Ukasoma Komaro ki group of schools. Ukasoma Komaro ki secondary. Ukaemloiwa kazi tu hapa komaro ukaolewa komaro ukakufa ukazikwa wapi hata ujawahi peba familia hata muenda aporeta familia tu enda aporeta muone wahindi wa hao wa, 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 tunaitanga wachinku muone hata wazungu wako na mats zao wako na chakula wamebeba nini na nini na macho sidi wamepika food kama ni mchele wamepika wame blend matunda wamepepa juice na maji they have their balls wako pale wanacheza niliona wanaenda wana, mama na baba na watoto baba anaenda anaficha mpira ndani ya machani, ya machani hivi kwa miti chini hivi alafu mama na watoto wanaanza kutafuta wanaanza kuta they are bonding lakini sisi tumekauka tu hapa kiti kwenda hapo leta mnahitaji pesa pesa ngapi Pesa ngapi? Even one retreat, hakuna atuendangi. Pesa
pesa unaziona siko kwa bank unaenda kwa simu siku hizi ni kwa simu unaangalia balance unaona 300000 una smile unafunga simu unaendelea tena outing just an outing let me assure you nilikuja kugundua wan, wanawake wanafurahia kwamba tunapoenda sasa tukitoka hapa tukienda na akuru tumekaa na akuru kwa hoteli tumelipa just one night tumeenda the entire day tumecheza na watoto tumekaa the entire day alafu jioni tunaingia kila mtu anaingia kwa bafu anaoga alafu tunaingia yani we are being served hakuna mwenye anasafu mwingine eti niletee maji ya kuoga niletee maji ya kukunywa unaletewa mama amekaa anakata rabuoni na kisu hajawahi tunakaa tunalala usiku tunaamka asubuhi tena tunaomba tukiwa pamoja because hakuna pressure hakuna mwenye eti niamke niende kutayarishia mzee chakula ama nimpigie nguo basi everything is cared for mnatoka huko yani you are one thing smiley simtoke mwanze na 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 uruba simwanze tu na operator let us have bonds with our children even people spark the last thing not the last thing the fourth thing health families play and love together wanacheza na wanafanya namna gani kama mtoto wangu nikifika kwa nyumba pae saa ni saa nne tunafaa kulala ameanza kuniambia baba tucheze mpira anapiga mpira mpaka inanipiga macho anataka tucheze na sasa nainuka tu tucheze na ye. ni kama ninafanya masoezi ya kuruka kamba na yeye akona kakamba kake anaruka ka anaruka kano nikianza kupiga pressure na yeye ako pale si pressure bwana piga anaweka kichwa chini akifanya hivi tunacheza we play together we do together hata mama mnacheza naye kwa nyumba si elda mayeka elda mayeka miaka ile lakini bado mnaweza cheza kwa nyumba. Yes. <laughs> Mwalimu ameimagine venye wanaweza cheza na mke wake akasema haiwezi. They play together and they love together. <laughs> Mwalimu pole. Jambo la mwisho, health families worship God together wanaomba Mungu pamoja health what families may god bless us ni wangapi wanatamani familia ambayo Yesu malaika na Mungu mwenyewe atakaa pamoja nao naomba tusimame ili tuweze kuomba tuombe utukuzwe upewe sifa milele na hata milele Bwana wetu umetufundisha tunahitaji tufanye nini Na hii ambayo umetufundisha ndiyo itatusaidia to build a strong family and a spiritual family unto you Jesus Tunapoondoka kwenda nyumbani Bwana wetu tusaidie tuweze kuyatilia manani na tuweze kufanya hivyo and i know you will supply resources hacha mapenzi yako yakatendeke na jina lako liweze kuinuliwa na hawa wote ambao wamejinyima wangekuwa wanafanya vitu vyao lakini wamejinyima kuwa hapa kanisani bwana wetu naomba uwabariki hacha mapenzi yako yatendeke kuanzia sasa hivi mpaka kurudi kwako ni rombi letu katika kristo tubeo bana kwa bidi amen bwana wabariki karibu tena kesho